Well, the only hope for improving the current situation in Syria are the peace talks which have resumed in Geneva. Now, for more on them, I'm joined from Doha by Fadl Abdul Ghani. He's the chairman and founder of the Syrian Network for Human Rights. Thank you very much uh, for your time. Let's start by talking about those uh, discussions then in Geneva. How would you assess the mood ahead of those talks? Is there cautious optimism that they can bring results? Uh, actually, Bashar al-Jafari say there is no pro-conditions. Uh, this is here, uh, I think this is in accurate terms. This is not conditions. We cannot consider that this is con uh, conditions because there is assault against the, the population. We have to make this b build trust measures. So based on that, we need to, uh, we, we, we have to, we must show our society that there is improvement happened here. So for example, uh, a campaign to, uh, by ensuring the, the access uh, of uh, the humanitarian aid uh, for all the besieged area. And there is here, uh, actually, the providing the aid is much different than breaking siege. Here we, we just arriving aid, not for the whole area. For example, uh, about the detainees, we have to, uh, there is immediate release for the uh, arbitrary uh, de de detention, particularly human rights defender and lawyer and uh, journalist. And just giving you such as an example, for uh, also uh, uh, the uh, die under torture sh should stop daily. We we keep receiving people who died caused of torture in the center so, of detention. This is not a pro condition. So is it, is it, your, is, it your, is it your opinion then that the current cessation of hostilities, the current conditions inside Syria, don't provide a good enough conditions for the peace talks to succeed? Uh, it's better than before. This is fire, of course, uh, better than uh, b before that. Uh, I think that uh, there is uh, such kind of willing in order to uh, move, move ahead, because uh, um, th this such kind of trial from, from especially Russian, after their intervention in Syria and committed war crime against uh, the Syrian society also, after five months, Months they, they want to see what they can do more actually. So they want to try with this uh, political process. Uh, but, uh, uh, but I don't uh, believe that this will achieve something because uh, till now we don't have uh, uh, such kind of decisive measures toward the Syrian regime and uh, toward uh, the continuous uh, violation and uh, pressures, uh, 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 ceasefire pressures daily in, in Syria. Well, Stefan de Mistura says, we heard him earlier, that there is no plan B. Uh, what do you think the alternative options are if these talks fail? I think the, it will go back again for the uh, war. Uh, and uh, and uh, the failure, actually, this is, this is not something new for the Syrian society. We tried before Arab League uh, initiative, then Mr. Kofi Annan. After that, we have Geneva 1. Geneva 1 in 30 of, uh, as, as you know, 31 of August uh, 2012. Uh, after that, ev every day, it, it's just a loss for the Syrian population uh, from their country, uh, from their lives, everything. So now we have other uh, example with uh, Mr. Di Mistura. We filled in Geneva 2, now we have Geneva 3. But I don't, uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm not uh, concretely uh, have uh, such kind of uh, willing that the solution will uh, be achieved in this, uh, in this negotiation. Because uh, based on the uh, uh, statement from the uh, Walid, from Walid Malim, from Bashar al-Assad, they are not willing at all to uh, to, to create this uh, committee, transitional body uh, committee. So, what is the use for the negotiation? Okay, um, Fadel Abdul Ghani, thank you very much for your time and for your insight.